Okay, we have another integral here from the MIT integration. This one's from 2017, problem two. We have the integral from one to infinity of natural log x over x squared dx. Okay, for this one, I have kind of a slight alternative method, like a minor change, not a full alternative method. To get started with what I want to notice, the derivative of natural log x is going to be one over x. So if I take this x squared and look at it as like one over x times one over x, this way we can group one of these with the dx in order to set up a u substitution, and then we just need a value for the other one. So how this is gonna work, let's do a u substitution for natural log x, then our du value is just gonna be one over x dx. And then to get a value for x, let's use this top one. Rearranging with log properties, we get x is gonna be just e to the u. So then substituting for this first at infinity, natural log of infinity is still gonna be infinity. Plug in a one, natural log of one is just zero. Then one thing I should do for this value right here, the one over x that we didn't use here, this thing, for one over x is just gonna be the reciprocal. So one over x is gonna be the same thing as e minus u. So then here, natural log x is gonna be u. This one over x here is gonna be e minus u. And then, and then all this over here is just our du. And then here we could just do integration by parts on this and finish it off. But maybe as a slight shortcut, what I could do here is if I, I can just create a parameter here on the u and write this as e minus su. And then the thing you might notice is this is exactly set up for a Laplace transform. This thing right here is gonna be the Laplace transform of just u as our function's this. And then everything else is just the, because like our function it is just gonna be this u value right here. And in order to do this without changing the problem, we're just gonna say that s equals one. So this is exactly the same thing so doing it this way, this is going to be exactly the same as the thing we want to find. I'll provide a link in the description if you want some more information on the Laplace transform. But for this, we just have a formula. It goes like this. So our general form for this, if we have something like using a different variable t, if we want the Laplace transform of t to the n, our formula for this is going to be n factorial over s to the n plus 1. So here in our u, the coefficient is just a 1. So like our n factorial, one factorial is just one. And then for this, we're gonna have s to the one plus one or two. And so what we've done is we've kind of set this up as a function in terms of s. And so this right here is gonna be our function in terms of s, but we know what our s value is. So all we need to do to finish this off is just find the value for f of one. Plugging in here, this is gonna be just one over one squared, and that's gonna be just one. So there you go, just kind of a slight variation using the Laplace transforms instead of integration by parts on this one. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.